channel and here I have IoT Bold starter kit. At some time before I received a mail from CEO and co-founder of IoT Bold asking me to review the product and use it in one of our projects and they sent me one starter kit. And in this video I will show you what the IoT Bold starter kit includes. What is IoT Bold? Difference between IoT Bold and Arduino. From where to download the IoT Bold application. How to connect it to the Bold cloud and how to connect it to your network. Let's start with unboxing of the Bold Starter Kit. Let's see what the Bold Starter Kit includes. And there is one letter. which is from co-founder and CEO of Bold IoT. Let's keep it aside. And here is the starter kit. The IoT Bold starter kit will contain two packets. In one you will get USB cable, few male jumper wires and a small breadboard. In other you will get Bolt, few more jumper wires, male female jumper wires, LEDs, resistors, buzzer, heat sensor, LDR and a push button. And now let me tell you something about IoT Bolt. The IoT Bolt is based on ESP Wi-Fi chip. What makes it different and unique from Arduino is that the IoT Bolt has a special firmware that binds it automatically with IoT Bolt Cloud which allows you to send and receive data through this device very easily. IoT Bolt get ready and set up without much coding experience. It is platform independent and language independent. You can write a code using the language you are comfortable with. And basically this is what the IoT Bolt is. And now I will show you how to power the IoT Bolt and how to connect it to your device. And to power the IoT Bolt you will need a USB cable which you will get with the starter kit. You can use a cell phone adapter or you can power it through your system. So I will be using the cell phone adapter. First you need to connect the USB cable to your IoT Bolt. And then connect it to your adapter or to your system and when I power it on the Wi-Fi light starts flashing and now let me show you how to set up the IoT Bolt with your device first you need to download an app called IoT Bolt which you will find on Google Play Store just write the keywords IoT Bolt and you will find the application which is provided by Inventron Private Limited. Just install the app. And once installed, just tap on open. If you already have an account, just enter the email address and password and tap on go. If not, just tap on register and fill in the required information. And after filling the required information, just check mark on I accept the terms and condition and tap on create a new account and it will register and after tapping on register you will get one verification email so you need to open the gmail account and there is one verify email bold cloud just tap on verify my email and this will take you to iot cloud and once IoT Cloud is open, just sign in again with your registered email ID and password. And after entering the email ID and password, just tap on sign in. And then IoT Cloud will open. Now let's jump on to the app and tap on add a device. First, turn on the location and turn off the data. And make sure that the 
IoT Bolt is powered. And tap on next. Next. Ready. The LED starts blinking very fast. That means it has connected to the cell phone. And once done, tap on continue. The application search for the available network. And then just connect it to the available network. And once connected, the green light starts glowing. This indicates that the IT bolt get connected to the available network. And whenever next time I turn on the IT bolt, this will automatically get connected to the available network. And once done, the IT bolt is ready to be used in your projects. And guys, this video ends here. And in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to monitor your temperature using the temperature sensor, which comes with the kit. And please like the video and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you so much